This is the English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Maulana Qamaru Zama Sahib Dhamad Barakah to whom which took place on Monday, the 6th of Safar, 1446, corresponding with the English day, 12th of August, 2024. Hazrat has in front of him the ikhtisar of the Maktubat, the concise version of the Maktubat of Hazrat Mujaddid Al-Fithani, Rahimahullah. So here, yeah, in this particular maktub and letter, Hazrat Mujaddid al Faithani is giving nasaj and advises, and he says, Oh, my beloved son, aaj jabke fursat ka waqt hai, today when you have the opportunity and the time, and you have means in front of you to carry out good deeds, there is no place whatsoever for delay. The best time for the youth is the best time of the youth should be spent in the best of actions and the ibadat and worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They should stay away from the prohibited things and the doubtful things. They should perform their five daily salat in congregation, they should make this necessary and incumbent upon them. If they have the nisab, they should uh, execute the duty and uh, the hukam, the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding zakat, which is on their shoulders, which is also from amongst the necessary things in Islam. Yes, provided they have the nisab. And they should give out the zakat in a very beautiful manner, in a happy manner, in uh, uh, such a way. Uh, our Hazardwala is saying that he's seen in uh, the Malfuzat of Hazard Tanwi that sometimes a person has less amount of wealth and at that time he gives the zakat. But when his wealth increases and now he has to give zakat, he stops giving zakat the zakat should be given happily and he should not understand it to be a penalty he should not see what he's giving and say oh it's such a big amount i'm giving no rather he should see that what remains behind what remains behind Nevertheless, a person should not oppose and challenge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these things. He should carry out what he is commanded to do so. Now, Allah ta'ala, you know, this is so magnificent. Allah ta'ala give reward to those who had published it and those who had made the tarjuma of this year as well. Okay, let's continue. So it is such a great thing of injustice when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given that person and then he does not give out his zakat then uh, correctly. So in the days of a person's youth, which is actually he comes uh, where the, the nafs starts overwhelming him and it is the great, uh, it is the, the rule of shaitan the accursed. In that type of a zamana, if a person carries out just some few good deeds, he becomes deserving of great rewards from the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now listen, tomorrow when old age come, comes and a person becomes frail, his strength becomes diminished and he doesn't have the presence of heart and mind at that time there. At that time, a person will have nothing except regret. 
and this also could could it it could be that a person may not be even given the opportunity again and he would not he will only have grief sorrow and regret rather he may just not even have the opportunity to even make toba Now, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has even given us the news and the information of the eternal punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the akhirah. And he has warned us about the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So today, a person puts, uh, is put into a trap by shaitan, making him understand that Allah is most gracious etc due to which now he becomes lazy and he uses the forgiving nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as an excuse due to which he commits sins uh, very freely and abundantly now understand well dunya mahalla azmaish hai that this dunya is a place of examination yeah, both are equal here. You will find the friend and the enemy are all kept on the same platform here. And all of them, you may be understanding it, that they have the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon them. Allah says, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ That my rahmat encompasses and is vast over everything. We understand that well when we look at all of this. However, on the day of Qiyamah, there will definitely be a clear, open distinction between the friend and the enemy. The ayat of the Qur'an Majid, وَمْتَازُ الْيَوْمُ أَيُّهَا mujrimun That on that day, there will be distinction, there will be differentiation between the two. So on that day there, Rahmat will be on the side of the friends and on the side of the enemies there will be nothing other than deprivation and being accursed. فَسَأَكْتُبُهَا لِلَّذِينَ يَتَّقُونَ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِنَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Now from these ayat it becomes clear, ab absolutely clear the, the, the essence and the reality of all this. In essence... And in a just, Allah Ta'ala has kept His mercy specially in the Akhirat for the doers of good and the people of Islam. Yes, this year is actually necessary that for the people of Iman, they would most definitely need to have the ending on uh, Iman. Yes, although for their evil deeds and that, for some time they may be put into the uh, fire of Jahannam until they are cleared off from that. Right. Let's continue. Ulama have mentioned that Sagira par Israr karna kabira tak or kabira par Israr kufar tak poncha deta hai. That uh, being persistent on a minor sin will bring you or lead you or make it or bring you up to the stage of making it a major sin. And being persistent on a major sin will bring you up to the level of kufr and disbelief. Pana bakhuda. We seek protection in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala apni marziyat ki tawfiq inayat farmaye. Bi hurmati Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Uh, with the tawfiq and the hidayat of acting uh, and carrying out our works according to his uh, pleasure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of also taking uh, uh, 
bec- becoming dearly and deeply affected with these khutut and these letters. Allah Ta'ala give us all uh, salvation and Allah Ta'ala accept your coming year as well. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem sallallahu alayhi wa